I was asked to do a spotlight and test out for Pikmin 2 Worldwide by Nintendo Kluber, so I will. And let me just say right now, it's good. So I mentioned in my review of Nintendo Kluber's Halloween mod that it feels like an extension of Pikmin 2, like DLC, that would expand on more content if they could have done that for the GameCube, and it came from an understanding of how the game worked, and how it looks, and just exactly how to play into it. And this is an even further refined understanding of what makes Pikmin so good. Since I'm playing an early version of this mod, it's not complete, but it feels complete enough. I don't want anything major changed in the current build of the game, aside from some bug fixes, but I also only played an hour of it because I enjoyed it so much I didn't want to keep going, because it'll spoil the experience for me when I get the full game in my hands. Have you guys ever experienced that from like a demo? It's a pretty good feeling and it's astounding praise. I stopped playing the demo because the demo will make me know more about the game when it actually comes out. This is a smooth as butter introduction to the game and mechanics and a stunning face reveal at the start. Very bold to include the french fry tusks. I especially like when you get your first onion where you get the regular tutorial but you also get this view that feels so incredibly Pikmin and it's when I realize just how good this mod is or is going to be. This is an entirely new area that makes me want to go out and explore and see things. The enemy redesigns are simple but they can be downright adorable or awesome in some cases. Just look at the sheer grubs. They gave them little legs. It's so unnecessary and it's a tiny piece of detail you'd never even see. It's so good. I love it. You get access and understanding to all of the key mechanics quickly. Breakable walls have this incredible versatility to offer the player a branch on paths by dividing Pikmin to work on multiple things and that would be really cool to utilize. So say on day two, you get a uh, big Mamuta there. It's a reskinned, remodeled Mamuta. I don't know what it's actually called in the game, but wouldn't it be awesome if you had to split your Pikmin between breaking down that wall and you get over to the Mamuta and you realize it's there and you start attacking it, but you only have so many of your Pikmin because you sent the others to work on the wall. It's a more stressful situation, more challenging to the player, or they go back and get the Pikmin off the wall and they waste a little bit more time. I do see in the distance of the this area that this is utilized later on, but introducing that here would be something easy to make the player understand right away what they're there for. This isn't me crabbing on the design here, this is me actually praising it because the walls have been used to their exact potential here. Yes, even the full stop wall that you encounter and the other full stop wall that you encounter, they are exact uses of how you should do this. They tell the player, come back later when you have something I can counter this, and that is done excellently. It's good to keep this level of versatility in mind for later because walls have genuinely a massive level of versatility, especially breakable ones that you can encounter. Now the player might ignore any of these and go do whatever they want, but it's so cool to keep this in mind and it might be really cool to anyone playing that they have this many choices of how to take on something. The first cave you go delving into is also really astounding. There's a few generations the floors can have, but the important thing to note is that the layouts in the caves are completely new thus far. Well, from what I played. And it looks beautiful. I cannot put into words just how cool this is and how much I liked the treasures here. New caves and cave systems in Pikmin mods are borderline unheard of, which is why it's so cool to see it when they happen and this is executed flawlessly. I want more, it would be so cool to have more, just cave designs that are simple yet intricate and show you a lot of detail of the environment that you're in. This is so well done. Right now, this mod hits that joyous and smooth sweet spot that so many people miss about what makes these good, experiencing something new out of something familiar. From what I've played, this mod is entirely new using only the mechanics of Pikmin 2 and it's so pretty and it's so exciting to see something brand new with such a good understanding of level design and what makes these games good. It's also worth noting that I only played long enough to really get the yellow Pikmin. I do know that other Pikmin types are coming up and I think I remember their order but that might have changed because I am popping in here and there to help out with things and talk about things with the development team and that's exciting to me. There's so much awesome stuff 
stuff about this mod coming up. It's going to be another one of those need to experience Pikmin mods, and it's it's just so genuinely exciting. Thank you.